Hi guys, John here, and today we're already going over the quickest way to earn blueprints in order to get you those spicy modification unlocks as fast as possible. Now, if you don't know what modifications are or what blueprints are used for, basically if you go over to this tab here under crafting, you'll be able to see that for 300 blueprints you can craft a random modification. This used to be like 450, but they changed it within the last week, so fortunately it's a little bit easier for us to unlock stuff. Anyhow, a modification is exactly that. It is a different variant to an already existing weapon. Now, I do not know if you can unlock modifications for weapons that you do not have unlocked. So, for example, I'm not sure if I can obtain a modification for this Tier 3 Sniper, because so far I've only been able to grind enough points to do this twice, and on my first unlock I got a mod for a Tier 1 SMG. Uh, you'll see at the end of this video what I received on my second crate. It's pretty dope. Uh, now, first things first. How to get the blueprints as quickly as possible, the short and sweet of it is expedition. Now so far in the game, currently this is by far the quickest way to level up your guns to progress through weapon tiers to earn crafting material, which is the basic currency used for purchasing weapons and extra attachments, but most importantly it allows for super easy blueprint acquisition. Uh, I call them crafting materials, it's called credits in this game, it's the white stuff in the top right of the corner uh, beside the premium currency. Uh, so what you're going to want to do when you log on every time is check your tasks immediately. If you've only got like one hour to play a day, that's fine. You could probably earn a minimum of 50 blueprints every day that you log on in that scenario. What's most importantly noted here is that you'll see that you have those five daily quests slash tasks. These will obviously reset at the end of each day, so you want to be sure that you're completing these every time you have the opportunity to. I think it should go without saying that you want to hone in on anything that is doable or achievable in Expedition or what's listed as co-op. You can do these quests in tandem. This is just going to be a bonus on top of whatever else you're going to be earning in one game of Expedition. Uh, a side note is, if you have a task like this uh, to win games as insert character here, so for me it's Pillar Ram, it actually applies to Expedition. So even though it's not explicitly said, if I finish the next game and I extract with Pillar Ram, it counts as a victory. So I'm automatically going to have that counter as a win, which is just a nice bonus again, something to look out for if you have those kind of tasks. I know that's a lot of information to take in in a short amount of time. What's important is this, once you're in the game, uh, and I'll bring it up again, you'll notice that if it's your first time playing in the day, you'll have four first wins of the day quests active. These are all applied to Expedition. So for the first quest, you receive two blueprints. For the second, you'll receive three. The third, five. And for the final, 15. This will be a bonus, right, on top of the amount that you'll be receiving just by playing the mode. These are just bonuses that you only get for winning and extracting. Uh, in Expedition, you receive blueprints automatically just by making it from major point to major point. These are not the supply points slash bins that you come across while traversing the map. These are the major always mark points that your team must progress towards. Once you complete that objective, you are rewarded. These are random objectives and very in difficulty. I'd say the first three that you do are typically not too awful. Uh, to play as long as you've got a semi-competent team where things become tricky is if you fail in this mode you lose half the blueprints that you're currently holding so this means that if you're at the point in the game where you've only gotten two blueprints as a reward, a reward right uh, you're now getting a single blueprint so this would only happen if you failed before you've made it to the first event the reward tiers are as follows tier one is tw two blueprints and 50 credits tier two is 100 credits and four blueprints and tier three is 200 credits and eight blueprints and finally for tier four we've got 300 credits and 12 blueprints now in my opinion the best strategy is just to rush the third event finish it and extract unless your team is doing extremely well no downs and a good healer either pill or malva and look as i mentioned in another video pill isn't exactly that great and he's definitely nowhere as good as malva he still does make quite a difference in this mode especially because of his revive drone and the possibility for him to have low cooldowns in in it and on it. The problem with risking this tier 4 event is it's the final boss of the stage. This can be one of a few things, uh, and it's accompanied by a strider, which, look, it's not the hardest enemy, but it's definitely no pushover, and it's, I would consider a mini boss. If you lose at this point, though, you'll be receiving four blueprints instead of eight, uh, and it would take you more time just to get to that area. So if you wanted to do that, that's fine, but even if you do go for the fourth tier, this is going to theoretically be losing you out on more blueprints per hour if you're purely farming because it would be much faster to just leave the run at tier 3 then come back and run straight through to tier 3 in the next match. You could do this literally within 10 to 15 minutes every time. And if you get good enough and get down with it, in hell, if you get a team of 3 guys, you could do this in 10 minutes easily. Uh, and if you get a strategy, well, look, if you can't do this strategy and your team doesn't decide to leave, um, that's going to suck, but if you do do my strategy and your team decides to leave, this and this being your first one of the day, 
the bonus is applied, you'd be leaving the level not accounting for any other tasks done. Let's just say you didn't do any dailies besides the first one of the day with a minimum of 18 blueprints achieved within less than 20 minutes. As I said, you can get this done within 10 minutes. If you decide to keep running it back, uh, you will only be earning eight, but as stated, this is with you not focusing on a single other task that you have, which you should be. They're in the game to help you level up, earn credits for your weapons, purchases, and blueprints to earn modifications. This is the total best way to progress in the game, period. You're going to be progressing your weapon tier super quickly, um, your level super quickly, and getting a lot of blueprints from Expedition. Expedition seems to be the mode that you want to play to get a lot of these alkalides and uh, sweet looking cosmetics and then you go to versus to show it all off versus does not earn you a lot or net you a lot of uh, XP or really anything I really wouldn't play a lot of versus right now because there's just not a lot of content in versus um, So I wouldn't do versus unless I'm just farming for tasks in that mode All right boys, let's see what we get out of here. Come on something good something good, please Come on, baby, let's get something good Okay. Tack Wild West. Shoots an extra... This might be God Tier. This actually might be God Tier. Shooting an extra pellet. This could be crazy. Let me actually see what the other mods are for this. Looks great. Precision damage. Shoots... Shots pierce through multiple targets. One bullet in the That seems awful, actually. I, unless they increase the damage on it by a whole lot. I don't see that being very good. But it looks badass, man. I love it. One last thing I forgot to mention, guys. If you have any tips or tricks on how to unlock credits or blueprints faster than I explained in this video, don't forget to comment below. You may help out a future viewer and help them figure out the fastest way to get the gear they want based on your favorite way to play. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one. I appreciate all the views and all of the love to come.